Assalamu alaikum. Today we're we'll start talking about uh, gas laws, and these are three laws in which um, each law deals with two parameters, and the third parameter is a constant. For example, for today we have a law which is called Boyle's law, and this law deals with the volume and the pressure of a gas at a constant temperature. So the constant temperature here equals uh, room temperature, which is around uh, 25 degrees Celsius. So we keep the temperature constant by putting the apparatus in normal room temperature and that's it. So uh, we're going to do a, a simple experiment. The experiment goes like this. We have two burettes. and a scale like this and a burette is a tube that has two openings from both sides we have burette A and burette B and we will connect both burettes with a connecting rubber tube like this. And the opening of tube A will be always closed with a valve. And tube B will be left exposed to air. So what we're going to do is that we're going to pour mercury inside the tube B until the level of mercury is the same in both burettes, like that. This is the first step. So what we're going to do is that we will measure the volume of the gas entrapped in burette A, and at the same time we're going to measure the pressure. We'll find out that the pressure actually equals the atmospheric pressure because the tube is exposed to the air, so no extra pressure more than the atmospheric pressure. So the first step says that the pressure equals the atmospheric pressure. What we're going to do next is that we're going to raise this burette above this uh, original position like this. Of course a little bit of tension will be added to the uh, rubber uh, tube here. So let's say we're going to raise it that much here. This is the uh, rubber tube connecting between the two burettes. And we're going to notice something. The level of mercury in tube A will actually increase. And the level of mercury in tube B will decrease like this and we will have a height difference this height difference let's call it H1 we'll find out that the pressure of the entrapped air inside burette A equals the atmospheric pressure which is the original pressure plus H1 and the volume decreased. On the other hand, the pressure increased. So what if we do the opposite? What if we lower the level of burette B? If we lower the level of burette B, let's say around here, like this, the opposite will happen. The level of mercury in burette A will decrease. On the other hand, it will increase in burette B. And again, we will have a height difference. This, let's call it H2. 
So 3 equals the pressure will equal PA, but at this time it's uh, minus H2 because we lowered the burette B. And obviously the volume of the gas entrapped increased. So we deduce from that that there is um, an inversely proportional relationship between the volume of a gas and its pressure at a constant temperature. So we can say that the volume is inversely proportional with the pressure. Like this. And so we can say that the volume multiplied by the pressure equals a constant or the volume equals a constant divided by the pressure. So the same thing like this law. This or this they're both called Boyle's law and we can uh, explain this law through a graph a very simple graph so the volume is directly proportional with the reciprocal of the pressure. This is a very, very important uh, point. We have to uh, take care while we're writing the graph or drawing the graph that on the x-axis we have 1 over P, not P, because the law says that V is inversely proportional with P. So this is the relationship. Now we know that the volume and the pressure of a gas are inversely proportional. So if the pressure increases, this means that the volume decreases. And if the pressure decreases, this means that the volume increases. So this is it for today. Next time we're going to talk about the next gas law. Until then, I thank you for watching and see you.